Hi, everyone. This is Ed Makoski, Chief Innovation Officer and Head of Product here at Boomi. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, today, I'm going to cover event-driven integrations at scale um, and how we think about that here at Boomi. So first, to start out, let me give you a little bit of background about who Boomi is. So Boomi is the in in integration platform that intelligently connects your applications and automates your workflows. And so what does that actually mean? Uh, when you look at Boomi's platform, we cover uh, personas from those that are trying to connect their data sources, analyze their data, um, catalog data, et cetera, all the way up through user engagement where a user wants to build intelligent workflows, uh, connect to their, their users and, and intelligently allow them to interact with data and give integrated experiences across the organi organization. But what you see here is at the center of what we do is the largest uh, bubble, which is integration. So we provide pervasive connectivity throughout your organization. Uh, and in fact, within our ecosystem, we've connected over 180,000 different applications, uh, data sources and things, meaning one of your SaaS applications, that doesn't mean in the 180,000, we've connected one of those 180,000 different times. What it actually means is one SaaS application like a Salesforce or a NetSuite um, counts as one in that large number. So chances are, if, if you'd like to connect to a system uh, from an integration standpoint, we can do it for you. But what is Boomi's differentiator? So <clears throat> we essentially invented the Gartner Magic Quadrant for iPaaS, and we are an eight time leader in that category as well. And, and the key themes or differentiators about us is that we are cloud native, we are open and neutral. Uh, we are a distributed technology. So while you, you build, manage, and maintain integrations in a web environment, it also means that we have a distributed nature that can allow you to connect out to devices, things, on-premises applications, and EDI architectures that may be distributed as well. We are low code, so it is drag and drop capabilities. You, could, you can drag and drop, configure, versus coding, but you can also uh, burst out and you can code as well if that's something you need to do. And this is a unified platform. So all of those services that I just showed on the previous slide, one user can go through each of those services and, and pull together a solution for your business in order to integrate your different applications and build your automated workflows. So like I said, at Boomi, we are open and neutral and have many different options when it comes to supporting event-driven technologies. Uh, this is a point where I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the very specific event-driven patterns. Boomi does support API-first integrations, file-based integrations, et cetera, but we do feel that event-driven integrations are one of the most um, critical ways of scaling your integration environment and being able to support those is, is very, very critical for us. And how do we do that? Uh, we do have connectors for all major technologies, Kafka, RabbitMQ, Amazon SQS, ActiveMQ, Google PubSub, Azure Service Bus, as well as Solace. Uh, native queuing and messages, messaging is also built into our product as well. And we interact with these third-party applications using our native queuing embedded as well. So we have what's called um, the Atom queues, and what an Atom is in Boomi's terminology is the integration runtime, and we have queuing embedded in each so that we can interact with different queuing and event-driven architectural patterns uh, when, when interacting in these environments. And we do have a new message queuing and streaming service uh, that we plan to launch at the end of this uh, calendar year, so that will further improve our event-driven support and continue on the path um, in supporting large enterprise scale um, event-driven architectures. And we do have a very, very strong partnership with Solace and we, it's, and we very commonly go out and partner as the integration or the iPath layer to a full um, event-driven architectural service. And I'll cover some of those uh, customer use cases later in the presentation here. So how can we take advantage of these technologies when it comes to integration? So when you think about connecting systems together, particularly legacy systems with new modern SaaS applications, you need to be mindful of relying too heavily on point to point integration. So too often we see organizations that just wanna solve uh, their SaaS integration problem as quickly as possible, but they're not very 
um, organized or they don't take a step back and think about the future scale of how they want these to be run. Um, it's very, very critical to do that before you get in too deep into your, your integration projects. Now it's fine to do that upfront if you've got an urgent need and you want to do some point-to-point -point integrations or they're non-mission critical, uh, Boomi supports point-to-point -point integrations as well. But when you're really thinking about your enterprise and your long-term scalability needs, it's very, very important that you think about an event-driven architecture because point-to-points can often be brittle and a failure in a single service can have a cascading effect on other clients and services within the organization. And as companies scale into thousands of integrations and touch points, performance will then also be dictated by the slowest component of your system. And this is why companies are utilizing EDA pattern while building their integrations. So using an EDA pattern allows you to build more resilient scale and more robust integration processes. And Boomi provides the connectivity tissue between your event producers and consumers and the event broker. So enabling connectivity and transforming capabilities along the way. And at Boomi, we just call this event-driven integration versus API-led integration or file-based integrations or database or data integration, as I mentioned earlier. So what are some of the benefits here to event-driven integration? So the first one is agility. Uh, since services are loosely coupled in these types of scenarios by design, you can add and remove integration processes as your architecture grows. In point-to-point -point integrations, doing that is very complicated because you're taking one system and pointing it in many, many different integrations and trying to remove one of those from a spaghetti web of integrations is very complicated. But when in an event-driven architectural pattern, um, your agility is, is, very, is very easy to, to manage. And this is also very useful when different teams may own different applications and you can avoid having to engage every team which then continues to add more and more complexity. And loose coupling also makes it easier to reuse processes and components throughout your solution by designing a single purpose integration processes that can be developed, tested, and deployed independently. So scalability is also very important here. So again, since EDA is loosely coupled by nature, we can scale individual services as needed to improve overall system performance. Uh, and it also optimizes your resources and it makes it easier to address bottlenecks that may be slowing down your integrations. And the events themselves can also contain additional data in the payload so the consuming applications don't need to make, make an API call to get more information when processing the event and it, and it reduces the, the chatter in those environments. And resiliency in the, is, is the third one here. So most EDA technologies are by nature fault tolerant and hit heavily available since events can be persistently stored until processed successfully by the event consumers. This allows event-driven integration to more easily handle data bursts than a SOA architecture itself. And also if for some reason an event consumer fails, it has no impact on the producer and does not cause cascading failures in your architecture. So now I'm gonna show you some examples of companies um, across several industries and how they're using EDA patterns with Boomi plus Solus specifically to achieve some of these unbelievable outcomes. The first one here is the theme is bursty events and how those are best handled by EDA. Yes, I said bursty, meaning you may get some high workloads and uh, lower workloads given different times. And this story comes from a large beer company. So examples of bursty events could be Black Friday, or in this example, huge increase in orders during the pandemic. We all know that during the pandemic, a lot of people uh, took to buying beer and wine uh, a lot more than usual. And during these times, these event re events required shock absorption in, in the integration processes. Otherwise the systems would fail. And these bursty order flows caused this beer company to have duplicate and lost orders resulting in significant cost. And shifting to an EDA pattern, uh, new orders are persisted in the Solace event mesh and then consumed by Boomi's iPads. And they also implemented disaster recover for both iPads and Solace messaging to give them a truly scalable enterprise architecture. Second one here is, is the theme here is about integration at the edge. And this story is for a large, fast growing healthcare linen and laundry company. So the challenge here is managing inventory data from remote laundry facilities 
and re reducing inventory shrinkage and loss. So, loss. so the EDA pattern here, they installed the Boomi Atom, which again is the integration runtime and event brokers together at the edge in order to process, persist and synchronize data back to the home office location. So this edge processing and persistent ensures messaging guarantees and shock absorption. So many times you wanna handle your data processing and transactions at the edge versus bringing them all to a central location, which can also uh, introduce uh, scalability and a scalability challenge at that central location. So you wanna have these at the edge in order to then bring them in. Next theme here is about omnichannel retail. So the re this retail company owns many different brands and actually has over 4,000 locations around the world. So you can imagine all these different locations trying to, to get that data and aggregated. That is a scale problem uh, that, that needs to be addressed. So their biggest initiative is for simplifying and improving their omnichannel strategy across physical and digital stores. And they wanted to better understand customer behavior and optimize inventory to increase their overall e-business revenue. Now the data from their physical and digital stores is kept in sync via Boomi and Solis digital backbone, enabling their hybrid integration prep, uh, strategy to succeed here. This next theme is now the hybrid integration platform and master data changes, introducing a master data management scenario where you wanna have centralized um, the management of what we call your noun, so your customer, your item, et cetera, and many times synchronizing that data and keeping it um, ac synchronized across your different applications is a challenge when you don't have a particular system of record. Boomi also gives you master data hub or master data management capabilities. But this company is a large consumer goods company who provides many of the products you see on the shelves today. So their challenge is being able to execute timely and accurate marketing strategies when it takes too long for pricing changes to make it downstream, like to their retail stores. So for example, a marketer would create a promotion to create a large shampoo container. Data flow would take days to get to the packaging facility, many more days before they can make the change and several more before it was pushed to, to inventory partners. By this time, the marketer had to move on to their next promotion. So from a marketing situation, getting it out to retail, it was just taking way too long. So using a pub sub pattern, along with master data changes are now published immediately to all the different downstream systems. And this can actually be as many as 10,000 different systems for this company that was solved in this event driven architecture. And the last one here, the theme is about cloud migration. Um, the same large consumer goods company was also embarking on a large cloud migration. So they needed to move hundreds of data centers up into the cloud and legacy ESB solutions were too heavy and costly to maintain and, and migrate in this environment. And Boomi plus Solus support a multi-cloud architecture to process and store data across all clouds. So again, this is a big differentiator for both Boomi and Solus in that not only are we cloud native, but we also support this distributed architecture. So if you have a hybrid and multi-cloud environment, we can go out and as, as partners quickly connect out to all these different environments in your enterprise, out to the edge, out to different multiple multi-cloud environments and, and deliver these in a faster, more efficient way. And this next one is about unifying IoT data. So, Sharing data from numerous freeways, tolls, motorway, motorways to better execute traffic management and information sharing across these agencies is the challenge uh, that we took, upon, we embarked upon here to solve. And Solace Plus Boomi created an event backbone for all the IoT events that are generated from the transportation network. And this has resulted in improved safety and efficiency in the motor in the motorways. So together we are addressing safety concerns and we're also addressing an IoT environment here, which many folks don't think of an iPaaS plus a, uh, a an event driven architecture like Solace addressing IoT uh, use cases. But in this case, we did very successfully for this customer. Next is 
This is an actual Boomi use case. And this is the last one that I'll cover. So Boomi meaning Boomi as a company. And this is about microservice orchestration. So we as Boomi use um, an EDA architecture within our platform as well. Uh, and we have partnered with Solace and, and, and have embed this, embedded this to help us with deconstructing monolithic applications into easy to consume microservices. So as the cloud native um, architectures evolve and change, Boomi has been consistently staying on the forefront within our application and within our stack to keep our platform modern and nimble for our customer base. But we face some of these challenges sharing data between different engineering teams and different environments and different business systems. We needed a large enterprise scale with over 19,000 customers and trillions of transactions and bil billions and trillions of transactions running through our platform, we needed a scalable uh, architecture to provide things like real-time billing and analytics um, to our different consumers as well as um, users across our business. And today now, the Solace event bus transmits, transmits messages across the organization, facilitating great use of information across our engineering team. So no longer are we running reports and doing anything manual ourselves, to help with our scale, we're leveraging Solace to send messages um, to, to the systems that need it in order to, for billing and analytics. And now we can actually view customer usage in real time. It's improved our billing processes, which, in, which increases our revenue streams and also enables what we call our Atomsphere Go use case. So we have uh, Boom, to talk a little bit about Boomi's subscription model. So we do have annual subscriptions that, that our sales team um, goes out and works with our customers and, 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 and provides as a, a billing model for us. But we also, using this, tech, this architectural backbone from an event-driven architecture, it enabled us to release what we call Atomsphere Go, which allows our customers, if you would like to today, you can go and sign up at boomy.com slash go, and you can swipe a credit card and you can start using the full power of Boomi's platform. And it is built on a, um, on a usage model. And that usage model in the back end is supported by this Boomi plus Solace uh, solution to, to push out all of those events and securely and reliably um, track and, and do billing accordingly. So, we, so in summary, we believe that one of the best ways to design your integrations is to take an event first approach. Uh, we've seen time and time again that event driven integrations perform better, scale better and respond better to challenging requirements. And thank you for your time today.